So today I'm going to be reviewing the Ice Age movies. So let's get started. So first we're going to start with Ice Age 1. So I think Ice Age 1, it, it has a huge, like it has a special place in my heart. I think it is actually one of my favorite movies. Now it isn't like one of my favorites, but I still think it is like, like it is still a really good movie. I think that they did a good job. Sure, it does have the same story as Shrek and Monsters, Inc., um, but, but they did, um, I think it, it has, like, a lot of slapstick, funny stuff, um, I think the scratch scenes are hilarious, and also the characters, like, uh, Manny, Sid, and Diego are, uh, pretty fun, too, and, um, I think that they did a really good job. By the way, this isn't gonna be, like, my normal reviews, but anyways, I think, um, I think the, um, the best scenes are with Scrap when he's always getting in trouble. It's just, they make me laugh all the time, and every time you guys hear Ed just go like, oh, that poor thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, so moving on to the sequel. Ice Age 2? Who boy, man, critics didn't like it. But I actually found it decent, so like, it, Usually, I always agree with critics, like, how I found the Emoji movie bad and all that. But, um, I actually found Ice Age, um, 2 pretty decent. And, like, the story is kind of just predictable, but it has some pretty good characters. And, like, the first, the scratch scenes are hilarious. They're, like, the, the highlight of the film. And also, the characters, um, that just themselves are funny. Um... The animation is still pretty gorgeous, too. Um, although there is a few scenes I don't like where, like, Sid is, like, kind of like a god is or something. I don't know. But I don't really like that scene myself. I find it just kind of boring and nothing special about it. Especially the song. They are really cringy. But moving on to the third. Ugh! Ice Age Free. So this is when I started to not like any my Ice Age movies, like, when I started to get tired of the franchise, so, you know, might be saying, what do I not like about this one, the story is just stupid, and the writing is not really done well, and it, it it's just, the characters are kind of annoying all the time, especially Manny, Sid, and Diego, but the, there's a good thing about it, though, the scratch scenes are still hilarious. It's not as good, but they still are pretty funny. And also, the story's just stupid. It's Ice Age characters going to see dinosaurs. And it's not really a spoiler. It actually says that pretty much on the title. And this is when, like, this is the first disappointment I f pretty much saw of the Ice Age franchise. And that's when I started to get really ticked off at Blue Sky. Um, but moving on to number four. So this is when the series started to get downhill. So this is when Ice Age started to get r really disastrous. And I don't, like, I will admit the boat idea for, like, the, the um, the boats, like, like little ice pieces as boats i thought that was kind of a cool idea but how it had like the earth's core and stuff like that i thought that was kind of stupid how like scrat did that scene but all the other scrat scenes i'll admit were pretty funny but um the characters aren't really enjoyable like like always scrat is still you know like he doesn't talk at all and that he feels like the actual only character and the new characters they're the most hateable, actually, and same as the main characters and the side characters. Like, I feel like Captain Gut is an okay villain, but I think the only good stuff with the fourth is just... It has good animation and some good slapstick with Scrap, but that's it. And it is just a huge disappointment, and Blue Sky is just running out of ideas. But moving on to the fifth. You know how I said the Ice Age franchise is starting to get annoying? This one is the most annoying, and I think it's the worst Ice Age movie. 
And even the Scrat scenes aren't funny anymore. I mean, Scrat in a UFO? Come on! That's the best you can do? This is the Ice Age! Or should I say the Ice Age movies? Of course it's going to be stupid. It's just, the story's just so stupid and broken down. And also, for the credit, they did do some okay animation, but it's just so sad because they put so much effort into it, but it turned out to be such a big disappointment. Heck, this is actually, well, more worse than we expected for an Ice Age film. After the third and fourth, like just the third and fourth, we consider them just boring and stupid. But this one is boring, stupid, and annoying. And I think that Collision Course has nothing special. It's just they put little to no effort into it. I feel like Ice Age in the careers of Blue Sky, they just ran out of ideas. And I think Ice Age is done being a good franchise. Oh, sorry for the long way, Damien. This will be the actual next video. So this will uh, be uploaded, I think, tomorrow. Hopefully. So, sorry it took so long, Damien. So these are my ratings for the best and worst Ice Age movies. So, what's your favorite and least favorite? So that's the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, please leave a comment down below. Don't have to if you don't want to. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. And of course, keep on farting. Bye.